There's a multitude of ways that you can cheat when it comes to sport. And by golly, I'm pretty sure that everybody found every way you could cheat. So when I think about fishing in the sport of fishing, in me and my mind, because I'm not a fisherman, right? I think you cast a reel, you catch a fish, you hold a fish, you weigh a fish, whoever catch the biggest fish, that's it. Never in my mind that I would think that somebody would catch a fish, put weights in the fish to make the fish heavier, and cheat that way. Fast forward, this is a, str a screen clip of a gentleman being extremely upset, finding out that he lost to a gentleman that has been cheating by stuffing fish, fish not stuffing fists, because that's a whole different video, I ain't gonna get to that, by stuffing fish with weighted balls to make them heavier in order to make them win. Me, I think it ain't cheating as long as you don't get caught. That's just me and the way I see things, right? But... These gentlemen who whom have been stuffing the fish, they've won money and a lot of money. They won boats. They've won sponsorships. They have a name in the fisherman community. I ain't going to put the gentleman name on the video because I just ain't that person. I'm a cup half full type of guy. But you got to be a real, real sneaky, sorry, lazy, something, something. To, to cheat at a fishing tournament, right? That's where guys go to relax and breathe and be compadres, drink beers, and talk about stuff. And when it's competition, may the best real win. Maybe May the heaviest fish weigh the most. For you to stuff balls down a fish throat, where's Peter when you need it? I can't believe, I am appalled. That you took the time to stuff balls down a fish throat. The fish ain't even have a damn chance. When the fish was down there in the water, it just knew it was going to come up and whoop, couldn't even take a last breath because you putting your balls down the fish throat. The thing that got me interested in the video is the passion behind this video. Click the link in the comments, right? Go on barstoolsports.com and there's a blog about it. The M effer and the bees and the punk mother effers and the you should go to jail and call the cops that went down. I thought I thought only football fans spoke this way. I thought only basketball players on the court talked this much trash. I didn't know trash talking existed in fishing. You soft pole son of a you. I think I heard somebody say you weak line having son of a bit. Weak. Line having that means his fishing line was weak. If anybody ever told me I had a weak line, I would be hurt to my core. If I knew I had to stuff balls down fish throat and fillet the fish to put the ball inside the fish belly, I would be hurt to my core and I wouldn't fish no more. To the fishing community, could y'all please point me in the direction of the most passionate fishing fans? Could you point me in the direction of the most animated fishing people? Could you point me in the direction of the Tom Brady of fishing? I want to be involved in the fishing community now because I got to be involved of Fishgate 2022.